and back office is going to be. It's going to be right here at the NYS. So wale ambao mezoea kulegalega, mimi asubuhi itakuwa na kuja hapa, kila asubuhi, naambua, aha, wizara ya mashamba, hapo diyo wanainchi wanalamika, wizara ya polisi, hapo diyo wanainchi wanalamika, pale Kenya Power, hapo kuna jana, kulikuwa na malalamiko, ishirini, na nyinyi, servicemen and women, are going the same way you are working there at Vigilance House to ensure that uh, you serve Kenyans. Hii kazi ya kufuatiria malalamiko ya wa Kenya. Mutaweza ama hamutaweza? Mutaweza ama hamutaweza? Kama mweweza hile nimeona hapa ati njini diyo mulashika bunduki from that call center hapo Vigilance House. Hii ya kushika hawa na lega lega mina jua hiyo kazi mutafanya. And with the same vein, with the same vein, we are going to ensure that we have got an efficient, productive, and accountable public service. We are going to look at all the processes within government. We are going to review our state corporations and to ensure that they stop becoming a burden to all Kenyans. We are going to expand and review and improve on our Huduma Center to ensure that we have got a network of a minimum 1,000 Huduma Centers, each of them employing four to five people, all of them from the NYS, to ensure that we take our service to the farthest point of this country, to the bottom of the pyramid, and to ensure that we give the service to Monainchi that they truly deserve. Now, Wengine, I look forward to some of you graduating from here. Muna na tuko na shule yetu hapa, Kenya School of Government, which is under the PS uh, Public Service here, and uh, PS Public Service. I really want to request you to work with the Director General of NYS to ensure that we have people who are living here to actually do diplomas and degrees at the Kenya School of Government so that it becomes a graduation point for those people who are living here so that they can also have a chance to graduate and work in government. We have a workforce that is nearing aging. A lot of senior cadres in government now were to come to 57, 58, 59, and as they retire, and I wish them blissful retirement, Hawa vijana di watachukua na fasi zao. Nimeona hapa, hawa vijana wetu ambao wanafanya kazi kule kwa airport, hata tumewaweka balidi, hata wamewambua hombe kazi, wanaanza kutetemeka. Sio makosa yao, ni makosa yetu. Kwa sababu tumeweka hawa vijana balidi, na they have stopped believing that it is possible. But you have seen the case of Anthony here. A man who today is self-employed, who passed through this service, you can do it. And I want to tell you something. I was part of this NYS when, uh, during 2015, we created the new vision under the first Jubilee government. Na ijapokuwa, mabo ilieda murama, ion doto, ion doto, it was a sound dream. And as a part of those people who created that dream, mimi niko hapa kama bazu sasa. Kuwensiwa ya kuamba, tunarudicha hii NYS, katika hile ndoto, tulikuwa na yo 2015. Hii NYS imeneletea kisirani. Hii NYS imeneletea shida. Unajua njini, hata hii gualide nimekuagua hapa. Hile nimekagua, nimeona, ni spade, ni hile instrument muna tumia kufanya kazi. Siku moja, nilikuwa mbunge huko kwetu katundu, tukaenda na hii viva enu. Sasa mimi nikaambua ati mimi nikona milishia. Sasa mimi nikapele kwa kotini, ili nichukua miaka ine kwa hiyo kumaliza hiyo kesi pale kotini. Jua NYS. Sasa wale walinishika, mimi niko hapa na midi yo bazu. So, hii NYS who will be the center of gravity in this country. 
And I want to tell the young people in this country, we have hope. There's a better tomorrow. And we cannot absorb all young people in this country. But we will set for them a living example. We will raise a bar and show that there can be hope. Vila Bibiria inasema, kazi ni mingi, wafanyi kazi, wako wapi, diyo wako wachache. Na mimi leo, niko hapa, kuanza ukurasa mpia. Ya kuhakisha ya kwamba, hii dala ya NYS, ukiamuka azbui kama ni mkenya, hile inakukuta kwa breakfast, ni NYS. Mjana, ni NYS. Afternoon, ni NYS. Dina, ni NYS. Ukianza kuota, doto ya kwanza, ni NYS. Director General ametuambia juu ya zile nguzo inne mkonayo. Na hiyo guzo ya kwanza, the first pillar, the pillar of paramilitary training. Because we have to produce men and women who are fit for purpose for the discipline of that discipline. Let me say this. Once we put the discipline in place, we also have to ensure that there is order. Because discipline is useless without order. That is why 